For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Commemorating the historic Millions March of June 30th, 2019, thousands of people hit the streets of Sudan. The protests organized by the Sudanese Communist Party, resistance committees, and a faction of the Sudanese Professionals Association were demanding that the transitional government step down. They were also protesting against the recently introduced International Monetary Fund reforms that cut subsidies on petrol and diesel, doubling their prices. Demonstrations were held in major cities including El Obeid, Niala, Atbara, and the capital Khartoum. The protests were violently repressed across the country by security forces, leaving many injured. The forces used tear gas and rubber bullets to prevent protesters from reaching the capital Khartoum from Umdurman in central Sudan. The forces also closed major roads that led to the Republican Palace in a bid to stop the protesters. The mobilizations came right after the IMF approved a $2.5 billion loan and debt relief of $56 million on June 30th. Under former President Omar al-Bashir, Sudan accumulated massive arrears that grew to account for 85% of the country's total debt. Al-Bashir was ousted following popular protests led by the Sudanese Professionals Association and the Sudanese Communist Party. The protests against al-Bashir's rule started after a severe deterioration in the living conditions of the people, following a steep rise in the prices of essential goods, lack of employment, and a stagnating economy. Most of these issues remain unaddressed even after two years. The transitional government in Sudan has faced severe criticism and public unrest due to its failure to fulfill the mandate of the 2019 pro-democracy protests. Its policy towards rebel groups, the economic situation in the country, and its foreign policy have all come under heavy public scrutiny and led to regular protests. Popular forces in the country continue their struggle for full democracy and the right to live with dignity.